हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज विदेन एंड वेलकम टू द फैंटेसी मैच प्रीव्यू फॉर द गेम बिटवीन दिल्ली एंड राजस्थान नाउ कीप इन माइंड दिस गेम हैज बीन शिफ्टेड बैक टू वांकेडे बट इन रिस्पेक्टिव यू हैव टू गो जॉइन द गिव अवे राइट नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट रिमेंबर टू जॉइन द फैन टू प्ले लीडर बोर्ड वेयर यू कैन मेक अप टू ट्वेंटी फाइव टीम्स एंड गेट अ चांस टू गो ऑल द वे टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड वॉच द टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल लाइव एंड ऑल स्पॉन्सर ट्रिप so make 25 teams and remember this leaderboard is ending on its second phase so go cash in and join as many teams as possible win the grand league and along with that go to australia so today we have a really special guest with us crick crazy nicks also known as nikhil to all of you welcome nikhil how are you doing great great i love that intro uh, known as crick crazy nicks uh, also known as nikhil i love i love that we have introduction thank you so much <laughs> so Yeah, I am wearing the Chennai jersey today because obviously I am excited for El Clasico with one team, big team getting knocked out. But we are going to cover TCRR. Yeah, yeah. it looks more like ten spot knockout, but yeah. Yeah, sadly that's what it's come down <laughs> to this time. Yeah. So first up, we have the keepers for us. So who do you see as your keeper picks in this game? I think it's I think it's very safe to go with all three in Butler, Samson, and Pan. Uh, given mm. the recent form of uh, Butler and Samson, they are doing fa- fairly well. And also, we are getting a lot of keeping points this year uh, because mm. of the way pitches are being. So I think Samson and Pan in that case make a very good vice captain options as well if people want to try those. Because mm. you could take three catches, do one stumping, and it could eventually be a very good uh, point. Mm. Yeah. So I think I'll go with all three of them. In Grand Leagues, definitely you can take a risk on uh, one of the uh, openers falling early, and then mm. either Pan getting a long time or Samson getting a long time. So in that case, you can drop Josh Butler. But again, it's a very tricky call given his recent form. Mm. But uh, yeah, I'll take I'll stay with all three in my small league team for sure. Okay, makes sense. Who are the batters against Shaw and Warner? Looks like really hot form, so difficult to drop. But So uh, I think we have some matchups there right for Shaw and Warner both of them have strong matchups Warner against Ashwin and Shaw versus Bolt so how do you see that uh, also an interesting number for Shaw versus Ashwin that Ashwin is bowled one ball to Shaw and has got him out uh, of that very ball uh-huh. so I see Ashwin op- opening the bowling for Shaw and especially hmm. having seen the carom ball that Ashwin bowled to Russell from the ground I I think that was that was miracle. It was uh, it was not miracle, sorry. It was magical to watch that moment uh, because when you're not taking so many wickets to bowl yeah. that ball first up to a key player, I think uh, are also that it's very important to strike very early against Delhi because we see we oh. saw what they did to Punjab. So I think Ashwin and Bolt both have both have very good uh, matchups against these two, but I expect a yeah. stronger plan from Delhi as well. Uh, I don't see. Usually, Warner doesn't go after the bowling, so hmm. it may be a case of that Shaw continues to take the risk while Warner plays himself in. But I think dropping both of them in small league might be too big a risk to take. All right. Okay. So we go with Warner and Shaw. And uh, do you see Devdutt coming back in form, or do we stick with Hetmyer yet for this game? Yeah. Uh, given the way the teams are playing, I'll go with the form pick in Chimran Hetmyer. Hmm. Uh, purely because he is getting enough time in the middle, and whatever he's batting, he's batting uh, in terms of it's even eventful batting like that. Even if he scores a twenty twenty five, there are few hits to the fence, so you get those bonus mm. points for that, rather than somebody that's laboring around for a uh, you know, run of ball twenty thirty. So uh, I think Devdutt has a very good matchup again, a very bad matchup against Shardul. I think he's got, yeah. gotten out yeah. thrice to Shardul Thakur, and the strike rate is also below hundred. So, hmm. uh, if he sees him out, maybe then uh, you can expect there that to score. But for now, I'm going with the form of Hetman. Okay, agreed. So I think that makes Dev that more of a Grand League choice or mini GL yeah. choice in the game. Sure. Apart from that, I think we have only one real all-rounder in Akshar because everybody else in this all-rounder section has a lot of uncertain roles like Parag, Lalit, bowling in some games, not batting in others. So, what what do you think? Anything else that you feel would differ? Uh, no, I think Bapu is the safest choice uh, because he is more likely to give you uh, both uh, points with bat and ball. The other two, yeah. as you said, it's they haven't been the best of form. Uh, not every team is Punjab to collapse the way they did against Delhi, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. 
and yeah. uh, but what i am also very interested to see how they use that they have used him up, with, up earlier up, up in the batting yeah. order so if delhi are batting first then i think lalit could be a uh, handy pick in mid england leagues because uh, there are enough uh, left handers in ara and he can really bowl well at them but again it's a, it's a tricky thing teams are doing funny things so hmm. it's a purely a grand i think we had another off spinner who did the magic last time with gautam against ara yes. himself Exactly. Yeah, maybe exactly. maybe Lalit can do something similar, but it's very conditional yeah. to how he's used. Correct, correct. That's the point. Yeah. Okay, so I think we'll go with Akshar for now, and then yes. I think bowlers we already discussed quite a few matchups: Bolt, yeah. Chahal. So who do you see from this section? Bolt, Chahal, Thakur, and your last pick would be. Uh, actually, I'll keep Chahal and Bolt. Shardul, hmm. I'm not really sure of his usage because. Even in hmm. the last game, he did he did bowl all four overs. He bowled only two. So that's so again, yeah, it's it's something it's it's subject to uh, match conditions. So in mini hmm. leagues, yes, I will try Shardul. But in, in normal games, I'll go with Kuldeep because he's bowling hmm. really well. Uh, for Kevin Peterson, too well to get the man of the match over Akshar Patel. But uh, I'll stick with Kuldeep and Khalil Ahmed as well. I think Khalil yeah. has come good. Uh, he's true to his reputation of taking big wickets. Mm. and is doing that again so uh, very tempted to take fizz also if he bowls first bowls so first, yeah. uh, maybe in that case you can drop a batter if you want an extra bowler mm. but again the surface is very important because vankare has been sticky and no better bowler in the world than mr fizz to really exploit for that. that kind of wicket yeah. yeah so yeah those those will be the options for now four chahal bowl mm. will be pan khali life and because we also discussed the left handedness of uh, the whole rr team do you see them not really going after much against kuldeep or do you see them going all out attack how do you feel that approach will be against him uh, i think it will be situational based uh, rr have got really good start in front of types so it depends on how they go uh, again the reason for taking kuldeep is Purely because if RR lose their top order early, Kuldeep will go in the day. Yeah. Uh, so I think that is the one reason why I've kept Kuldeep because players something what Chahal did to KKR. Uh, yeah. So Kuldeep can very well do the same. Agreed, agreed. And who do you see as captain and vice captain apart from the obvious choices in Butler and Warner? Oh, uh, very tricky to go uh, away from them, especially given how yeah. games have gone. Uh, to be very honest, it's been. It's been a tricky time where you take a risk on the player and then the player doesn't get more than two overs. It's happened with me in four games in a row now. Hasaranga, Shadul Thakur. In a few games, you also tried that combination. Yep, same so, players. <laughs> yeah. So again, the logic is there because they are hmm. uh, bowling in the power play and also in the death overs. So if if you ask me very honestly, hmm. I'll be tempted to go with Chahal and Kuldeep because both hmm. of them are bowling really well and the lineups aren't that great. But Hmm. Uh, again, in a mini grand league team, yes, I'll go with Chahal and Kuldeep as a combination. But in small leagues, I'll stick to Butler and Warner. Pant is a handy vice captain option because of the hmm. returns with the keeping part. So I think those those will be the uh, options that I'll keep in mind and not go too far away from them. Makes sense. Agreed. And uh, who do you see as challenge picks finally in the game? Uh, as I said, I'll I'll definitely go with. The two spinners and one batter. Mm. Uh, I'll probably side with the guy who's chasing between Warner and Butler uh, mm. you know, because I feel that is the easier suit to uh, be safer in terms of predictions. So uh, one of Warner Butler and the other two will be Chahal and Kuldeep uh, because Kuldeep. whenever they are bowling, they are still finding ways to take wickets. So uh, in that sense, I think you can even go Butler, Warner, and take one of Chahal and Kuldeep. So hmm. I think it's between those four players uh, you can happily play around. And they're getting a lot of bowls and LBWs too. So exactly, exactly. That is the <laughs> they're main getting point those bonus, bonus points. points. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And uh, apart from that, who do you see in your team as maybe a radical grand league drop or a grand league pick for this game? Uh, in a few teams, I will definitely drop Delhi top order uh, hmm. purely because of the matchups that they have with Bolt and Ash. And then hmm. uh, you can have somebody like a Pant and Rahman captain, vice captain, or Pant and an Aksar Patel captain, vice captain, because then they'll get enough times to bat out in the middle. So that is one 
uh, uh, radical uh, left field choice and the other is with Shimran Hetmyer as captain. I yeah. think while batting first, it's a very, uh, I wouldn't say it's a left field choice. Hetmyer has been their best batter after uh, uh, Josh Butler. Uh, more consistent than Sanju uh, in, in most of the games so far. So, I think Hetmyer could be a very good option. Uh, along with, of course, Juli Chai, you know, it's, it's hard to look. I think sometimes we take too much risk on uh, an unknown player. I think it's rather yeah. very great and uh, good for your sides as well if you go with the form guys because they are more likely to come off than anybody. So, there's a difference between finding the big name and finding the name in form. So, I'll probably side with the name in form and then make things uh, as per that. Makes sense. Makes sense. I think my bold call for this game is one of the left-hand bowlers of Delhi is going to get Butler yeah. out. Yes. I oh, think that that is good. That is possible. This power play, especially because I saw that the Akshar bowled against Besto and Livingston, and I feel that he can come into his own against Butler yes. also in the same way. For sure. For sure. Possible. So, I think we have all of that from this game. Apart from that, what do you feel about the game? Anything else that you would like to add in terms of the kind of leagues you would want to play in this game or the kind of approach you would like to take in this game? Uh, I'll suggest play multi-winner leagues only. Small leagues are okay. really subject to market and players and teams. And that is really going down the drain with IPL as well. Something that didn't yeah. used to happen. You are seeing Umran Malik bowl the last over. Uh, the day you pick Raidu, Dubey, Dubey comes out to bat. The, pick, the day you pick Dubey, the day you pick the other guy, somebody else comes out to bat. So it's very tricky. Uh, so I'll suggest play multi winner leagues. They are very good on returns because the day you talk, you get a lot more back. And uh, yeah. even if you lose, you're, you're not losing a lot. So I think that's a, a good way to be in this for the long run. And I think we yeah. all are here for the long run and not for those shortcut uh, two, three day winnings. True that, very true. So I guess we have uh, we have it all from you. So thank you, Nikhil. Let's hope that this game goes really well for both of us and for everybody watching. And uh, yes. remember to join the giveaway too. The code for you for this game is FRI FCP. So remember to go join and win lots of prizes. And apart from that, all of your final updates for the second innings team, your final team, and lots of other updates are going to come on the Telegram channel. So do join us and happy winnings to all of you. All the good luck. Good luck guys. Happy winnings as we already said that.